Welcome to NCIX Tech Tips. Do you feel like wireless standards have been stagnant for too long? Well, no more. Wireless AC is here. We're talking wireless speeds in excess of one gigabit per second. This is all clearly voodoo magic, you say to me. I've never heard of wireless AC. And I will tell you why you've never heard of it. Buffalo, with their Air Station Extreme Performance WZR D1800H, is first to market with a draft wireless AC solution. So if you guys remember back when the N standard was coming about, we saw draft N routers that ended up being certified for full N specifications once it was finalized. So that's what Buffalo's aiming to do here. Be the first one out the door with an AC router so that their customers can future-proof their wireless network and if they get the companion media bridge pro product, even enjoy AC speeds today. So AC speeds are 1.3 gigahertz on the 5 gigahertz wireless band, which means less interference, which is great. And a media bridge, if you're not familiar with what it is, because you can't just buy like an AC wireless card and stick it in your computer. They just don't exist yet because this is all we got. If you want to take advantage of AC speeds, you want to get a media bridge. A media bridge is basically like an external network card that's a little bit on the bigger side, so it looks like this. And it has the necessary wireless antennas inside it, but instead of only being able to plug into one computer or one device, it is actually capable of taking that high-speed wireless signal and splitting it out to four devices at a time. Let's take a closer look at the router. On the front, you find your one-touch setup as well as all of the indicator lights. On the back, you find all of your necessary ports, including power, uh, on an on and off switch, your internet port, as well as four gigabit ethernet ports. You also have a USB port for storage, which is very convenient. One other really cool thing that Buffalo includes on the bottom of the unit is a little default configuration card that you can easily take out, take around with you, you know, in case you forget or you want to set it up again or you have to reset your router for whatever reason. It's handy to have that kind of thing handy built into the bottom of your router instead of having to write it down and tape it to it, which is what I usually end up doing. The media bridge looks very similar in that it has a one-touch setup as well as its indicator lights on the front, except that at the back it doesn't have a WAN port, an internet port, and it only has the four gigabit ethernet ports because its main interface is going to be wirelessly to a compatible AC router. Now, it is worth noting that both of these devices are backwards compatible with existing wireless standards. It's just that they do also comply to the newer, faster AC standard. So in short, basically the ideal configuration for a wireless network that you're building today is going to be one that works with you today and scales with you tomorrow. So buying something that is compatible with a future standard, even though it's a draft right now, is probably not a bad bet, especially because it is compatible with all of the current devices as well. So if you want the best possible experience, remember this is a fully featured router, so it's got all that good stuff you need, like quality of service to make sure that your games or your media streaming aren't getting interrupted by other network applications. If you want the best possible experience now and tomorrow, getting something wireless AC certified couldn't be a bad choice. So thank you for checking out this NCIX Tech Tips on Buffalo's AC line of products. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this from your favorite retailer, NCIX.com.